Hey, it's Dr. D. So it's the end of the school year and you may be wondering, what am I going to be doing the last few days of school? Well, you can still do math and you can still do some fun projects and I've got one for you. It's low prep, very simple and guaranteed to have a high level of engagement. So first, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And then all you're going to need for this project, it's about calculating simple interest on a car payment because what middle schooler doesn't think about buying a car is some dice. You're going to get a hyperlink to the presentation. And if you need some additional support, always consider an anchor chart. This one's on percent of a number. I'm going to take a picture and add it to the video, as well as a calculator. If you're looking for ways where your kids have very little tech and working collaboratively, you could take a project like this and have your students make a digital poster. So you can see here we've got our worksheet that um, the students have finished out after they've calculated the simple interest. They can also determine the tax as well as the commission if they're actually selling this car. So you're hitting on all of those seventh grade standards. And I had my students write some things that they learned about this project. And of course, here's the car that they picked, which is a Tesla. So let's go ahead and get started. And thanks, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, so we're gonna be talking about a fun and easy digital project. This one is all about percent problems and calculating the simple interest. So kids are going to be able to pick an electric vehicle, an EV, and they're going to have to calculate the simple interest for a car payment. So as I shared in the first video, all you're really going to need is some dice and you can print out the slide deck and assign your students an electric car or you can have them pick one of the electric vehicles in the slide deck. So here's our introduction. Of course, make a copy, add your own cute and funny bitmoji to celebrate. Hey, you're about to buy the car of your dreams. And what middle schooler isn't thinking about in a few years, they're actually going to be able to buy a car. Huge, huge moment in time. So you can randomly assign your students one of these electric vehicles. You can have them work in a group, or you can have for your kids that want to fly solo, just pick their own car. For my students, I had them pick randomly. Um, all the cars were covered up and they got to select one car and they turned it over and they got to see, I don't know, the element of surprise is working really well with my kids this year. So I printed out these different car um, vehicles in overviews. And as you can see here, they are given the price of the car, right? The manufacturer cost. So that based on their price, what they had to do was they had to determine the simple interest. But I use the dice and I allow my students to first make a down payment because the more I can get them to actually practice working with percent, the more fluent they are, right? So here's a hyperlink to this digital worksheet. It's up here on the top. Again, they're going to be writing down the cost of their vehicle, and then they roll the dice, two-digit dice, and there is also a hyperlink to that digital dice. They get to make a down payment. And I give an example for how to actually do that. So if they rolled a one and a two, that would be 12%, and then they would find 12% of 45000 which would be hypothetically the cost of their car. They then subtracted the down payment from the manufacturer retail price, and they record everything in this worksheet. Again, I printed out the worksheets because the kids made a digital poster. You can have them just go all digital if you're teaching online, or if your kids like to work on the computer and you like quiet at the end of the school year, go digital. So after they determine what their down payment is, now they're gonna calculate their simple interest. Notice it's actually color-coded, P for principal, T for time. There is a hyperlink here to a digital dice. If you don't have dice or your kids want to use a digital dice, click on the link here. After they've determined their simple interest, then they're going to determine what their interest rate is based on their credit score. Now, I did find a fun app where kids can calculate their own credit score, but because I wanted to do less tech in my class, I actually made a bunch of index cards with credit scores and they had to come up and randomly pick your credit score. There was a couple of kids who got very bad, so they had to find a co-signer. And it was just a fun conversation about what credit scores are, why it's important to have good credit, 
and how their credit score influences their interest rate. So a lot of really great conversations that were evolving from this particular assignment, which I wasn't expecting, but the kids were super engaged. Then here we go. Another example of how to calculate your simple interest based on your credit score. Students then were able to determine their monthly payment. And I give an example here. And then there's a fun little reflection, which my students recorded on their posters. So I hope you guys like this digital project and have fun and have fun with your kids and have fun and welcome summertime.